Welcome back to the Division 2. In this video, I want to talk to you about the Huntsman League, which is the latest league in Season 2, and is nothing but an insult to the player base and just gamers in general. Before we started, though, credit to Pete for this. If we uh, use this emote, boom box, put it up there, slightly move, and boom! Goes inside your neck. <laughs> what a mechanic to have in a AAA game. We're going to stand like that for the rest of this video. Well, for as long as we can, because we have to go into the menu to check out the progression. These timers, they change them around. It used to be challenging missions with a heroic stronghold at the end. Then they changed it for whatever reason. I believe it's because people were complaining that it was too hard. And they changed it. They messed up a load of times. They made Manning National Zoo near enough impossible to set the timer because they just never put any thought into it they simply just run with previous times that they've set for certain missions but obviously every mission has its own rough sort of completion time but with this week these missions are just far too easy i don't know why they set the times like this for the three hard missions you have 14 minutes on the timer and then for district you have 25 minutes on challenging it's not difficult at all to complete these if you can't complete them you're either playing with the wrong people your build's not good enough your skill level's not high enough there are no excuses to not get these done for all 10 stages it's as simple as that if we go into this i will explain why i'm not a speed runner i have good builds we have good team synergy but look at the times we set for these we did district union arena once and granted we have a lot of experience on the mission but look at this for a timer 10 minutes 30 that's less than half the required time for 10 stages complete for this week's league this week's content or whatever for this season the timer is 25 minutes our first run we did it in 10 and a half if we go and take a look at jefferson plaza this is one of the more annoying ones i don't really like this mission but it was set for 14 minutes we did it in eight minutes three seconds then if we take a look at viewpoint museum 7 minutes 45, so that's almost half the time, because again, that's 14 minutes. And then if you look at this, Air and Space Museum, the timer is 14 minutes. Look at how long it took us to complete this. Bearing in mind, it was possibly 5 or 6 runs. We did it pretty fast on the first run, and we just kept thinking, we can knock more and more time off each time we run this. And it got to the point where we were like, okay, if anything, we're going to squeeze another 10 seconds. It's pointless. Look at this time. 4 minutes 46 fucking seconds to do this mission. The timer they have set is 14 minutes. And notice the pattern. All three of the hard missions have a 14 minute timer. And why is that? Because they're too fucking lazy. They are too lazy to change anything on this game. They simply just whack 25 minutes on this. It doesn't take 25 minutes. Give it a little bit of a challenge at least. There's a reason that difficulty level was called challenging. Because it's the point where it starts to challenge the players. It doesn't do that on any of these missions. 4 minutes 46, not even 5 minutes of your time. Well, not even 5 minutes of our time and we had the mission done. It's an absolute insult to see times like this. There is no challenge at all. You cannot complain that this is too tough. There needs to be more of a challenge in these leagues. I get that there's seasonal content or whatever. Some people are saying, oh yeah, but there's supposed to be just times, like whatever, like it doesn't matter. Like, I don't know why you're complaining, saying they're too easy. Look at the times that I've set. It takes the piss, completely takes the piss. There is a reason these four missions right here and the four missions you get every time there's a new league, there is a reason they have the times because you're supposed to compete to try and get these done. These are time trials. They are speed runs. You're supposed to be doing this stuff fast. And to be able to knock almost 10 minutes off the time is bollocks. It's far too easy. If you cannot complete these three missions in 14 minutes and this one in 25, you need to reconsider your build. You need to check the builds of the people you are playing with because there is no way that anyone in this world cannot do these challenges. I've seen people that do not get on with games, that do not have a high skill level at all, and they would still be able to do this. And I'm not in any way, shape, or form being big-headed and saying, oh, I'm fucking amazing at the game. Mini, 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 mini. I'll leave that to all the dickheads and elitists that are a part of this game. I'm just saying, these developers need to put more time and effort into these leagues. It is just 
I, I can't even think of any other words, any other way to phrase it than saying they are insulting our ability to play this game. And the fact that all three of the hard missions have a 14 minute timer, Jefferson Plaza is the longest out of the three missions. Based on my times, my runs, this was 7.45 on viewpoint, Jefferson Plaza is the longest. So maybe you would set, because obviously we like doing speed runs, we're fairly experienced at a lot of the missions on this game. If you want to set that as a 14 minute timer, then maybe have a look at viewpoint and go, okay, this one can be done a little bit faster. We'll set this one to 12. Then look at Air and Space Museum and go, oh, okay, the people can do this really, really fast. We'll set this time to 10 minutes. Just a little bit of difference in these mission times. It's not hard to fucking do that. But what makes this even worse? And the fact that these developers can't get anything in this game right. Let's go to my recently recorded game clips. And bear in mind that Polarity Switch, they had to do maintenance on it because they had it so that it was showing your Season 1 rewards during Season 2 because they copy-pasted the event. And if they didn't copy-paste and they did different things with the mechanics and coding and stuff for Season 2, it wouldn't have shown that you like completed it and got the rewards. But because it did, they literally copy-pasted it over to Season 2. Didn't change a single thing, didn't reset progress, didn't do anything. And that's what pisses me off, the fact that they don't do anything for this game. And I guarantee, when Avatar comes out, when they announce Division 3, it's going to be the same shit. I don't know if it's 100% massive, or if there is part of it that's Ubisoft, but whoever's behind this stuff, you need to fucking get a grip. You need to get on this, because you are fully, take, with everything you do, taking the piss out of the player base. That's mission completion. Let's go to this clip, let's have a look. League activity completed, 607. Watch this, the next thing that happens on my screen. Boom, league activity completed, Air and Space Museum. Oh, look at that, 616. The time goes up, and these things say in league activity completed pop up three times, and then look at this, 551. Then we go into seasons, and look at this, 552. They can't even program a fucking timer. They can't even get a timer correct on this game. It is so frustrating. And look, another stupid thing in this game. I'm going to do it again because it's actually kind of entertaining how they messed up so badly. You use the boombox emote. You move the slightest bit. Like, it is basically more turning your character than actually moving because if you take a step, it will do the same thing, but it will disappear after like a second. If you don't move and you use the boombox, it gets stuck in your neck. These developers have told us they use low-level programming, which is more advanced than what they did for Division 1 because they have more nodes in each of the animations. Look at what they've done because of the way they programmed this game. Why the fuck is a boombox stuck in my neck? Another thing I want to quickly point out because I'm going to wrap the video up there before I lose my shit completely. Where is it? Where are the rewards? Go to the rewards. So this league is called Huntsman. The spider's fucking disgusting. Whatever. We'll move on from that because look at this. What the fuck is that for a backpack trophy? Loyal Hound. I don't have a clue what that actually is. I don't want that shit hanging off the back of my fucking bag. And to me, that looks like a wishbone you get off a chicken. What has that got to do with Huntsman? Absolutely nothing. They do not have a clue what they are doing with this game. And I'm sick and tired of saying it time and time again. You got the leagues, you got Hollywood. Which was an absolute shambles of a global event. All it was was if you exploded an enemy with a grenade or something, they would freeze in the air for a couple of seconds to have that Hollywood effect. I don't care for a Hollywood effect. I want something cool in this game that's related to the game. Then you look at this and you've got Polarity Switch, Season 1 Global Event. Then you've got Reanimated, Season 1 Global Event. Oh, and then you've got Guardians, also Season 1 Global Event. They have put one new global event into this whole season. There is no effort behind this game. And now they're taking it one step further by completely taking the piss out of their player base and putting 14 minute timers on as if to say, you're not good enough to do it in this time. Four minutes, 40 fucking six. I knocked almost 10 minutes off that time. Please if a developer watches this, I don't care if you don't like what I'm saying, the truth fucking hurts. Please actually sit there, put the time and effort in to test these runs yourself. Actually do some game testing 
and think properly of times that would be appreciated. A little bit of a challenge so that it ties in with the name of the difficulty itself. I'm done with this rant. I'll probably be back very soon with more because just everything I play on this game, I, I need to get back into hardcore because that was actually the most fun I've had for a little while because it's going back through the story, which was pretty much the best thing in this game, even though the story was very bland. It was fun playing through to level 30. I mean, some people have pointed out, though, I can't actually take down Kina and get all the way to 40 because a bug in a paid expansion, you can't actually take down the boss. He is invincible. I think that kind of just adds to my point as well, that they just, they don't do anything. They they come back from a four or five week hiatus for state of the game, and they the first thing they told us was, we don't have a lot of news for you. They've just had a fucking month's break. There was a maintenance, just a typical weekly maintenance that did a shitload of nerfs to PvP. How do you not have anything to talk about? But what makes that even worse, they've just come back off a break, they go and take another week off. I don't know, but let me know your thoughts and stuff in the comments. I personally think this is the biggest insult they've slapped us in the face with for a little while. But on that note, it's going to be the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed another Bill rant. I will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.